Hey YouTube, it's Sean. Yeah, I'm working on that power inverter for that generator. Just piddling around here while I'm sitting doing nothing. And uh, I got the capacitors in finally. I bought two different types. I bought that type, the tank the type, you know, the, with the prongs facing. Uh, and then I bought this type. One, um, one lead on each end and I preferred this one and I just what I did was I took a um, little bit of super glue and just attached them to that uh, potting um, that they put all the electronics in and um, you can't get these out without ruining your uh, power inverter in the process you can't get them clear out so what I done what I did show you what I did hang on one sec I'm waving it around here sorry about the shaky cam I got one hand on you one hand on the epic sharp knife all right so what I did was I took the can and um, I just uh, basically went from the bottom where the hang on one sec I went from the bottom where the potting is and went up and just sliced that aluminum foil can open and then I um, took a pair of little pliers I'm not going to show you this because I'm on camera and I'm holding you all with one hand and it's just I don't want to ruin something trying to show you all how I'm doing it but uh, then I just took and um, grabbed where I peeled it and just peeled it around like a like a tuna can just peeled it around and then I carefully took the paper and the paper inside and the foil inside and unwound it till I had the two leads there sticking up all right and I marked the uh, negative side so now I can solder my wires on um, those two posts to the appropriate uh, lead on the capacitor on the cap and then um, I can take some uh, silicone and just cover over that you know so it's water resistant and um, you put a little silicone in between here and on one on each side and that'll hold them in place and they won't go nowhere and that's as good as it needs to be because I think it's fine now I did take this cover off this cap it had one of these covers on it I did take it off because most of the time when these caps blow like this one here that I did take out this uh, that's the that's the leak uh, where they blow 99% of the time they'll blow right out the I have seen them bulged on the sides though but if they actually pop you'll see it right in the middle it'll be a weep a weeping right there that's a uh, relief valve basically in case they you know so they don't blow and burst they just they, they, they just pop this cap open All right, and that's what that one did that one there that I that I took out that's what it did so I started with it and I'm going to do this one as well this one here is coming out because it's a set like if I did find one of these bad I'd replace the other one too but that's what we're doing and uh, I'm sure it's gonna I'm sure it's gonna be worth the eight bucks I, I think this will work I've heard I've heard of other people online doing this I was reading a forum and uh, you know this is a very common thing to do with these potted uh, electronics is to uh, if it's sticking up at all you know like some of these are really hard to do these uh, resistors because the other end of it's down in the down in the potting material but you know some of them you can't but these I think I can so I'm gonna try it all right 
The next thing is if this works, we're going to try it. We're going to put it in the uh, in the generator, and we're going to fire it up and see if we got any uh, electricity. You know. All right. So stay tuned. We'll let you know. All right. Take care, everybody. Love y'all. Thumbs up. Bye-bye.